Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem which says DNS server not responding on your Windows 11 operating system. So if you're facing any problems related to DNS server, you can follow along and hopefully at the end of this video, your problem will be solved. So I have this list of best free DNS server providers and this link I'm going to put in the description of this video also. So you can directly come to this link and you can decide which DNS provider you want to use for your DNS on your Windows 11 operating system. So you can see all these DNS providers provides free DNS servers and you need primary and secondary DNS IP addresses for changing your DNS server, right? So let's say I will uh, choose the Google DNS server and the IP address is this one and this one. So I'm going to use these two IP addresses for the DNS server on my Windows 11 operating system. So now I know the IP addresses so I can just click on the search icon and then search for control panel and then click on control panel here and once control panel opens I will just click on view by category and then I'm going to click on network and internet option and then click on network and sharing center right so when I click on network and sharing center here you will be able to see your internet connection so in my case i'm connected with the lan cable that's why i can see ethernet here if you are connected with your wi-fi network then you will see wi-fi option here whatever option you will see here at the top in front of the connection you just need to click on that uh, link okay so it can be wi-fi or ethernet so just click on this link and then here you need to click on the properties option and once you click on the properties option you need to choose this option which says internet protocol version 4 and then click on the properties once again from here you can change your dns server addresses by default this option is already selected which is obtain dns server address automatically but if you want to do it manually, you can just click on use the following DNS addresses and then you just need to simply provide these two addresses, one for primary DNS and other for the secondary DNS. So first one is 8.8.8.8 and second one is 8.8.4.4. So I'm going to provide both of these 8.8.8.8 as the primary server and then 8.8.4.4 as the secondary DNS server. Once you do that, just click on OK and then click on close and then click on close. And this means that you have provided the Google's DNS server as the DNS server for your Windows 11 operating system. So this was the first way. Let me show you the second way. So for the second way, what you need to do, you just need to once again click on the search icon and then search for settings here. So search for settings app and then click on settings app. You can also open the settings app by just right clicking on the windows icon here and then click on the settings option here. On the settings app, you need to select network and internet and then just scroll down where it says advanced network settings and click on that and in the advanced network settings you just need to select your network in my case it's ethernet here but in your case it can be wi-fi also so whatever network connection you have you just need to click on that option so i'm going to just click on this option and you can see it's enabled and here under this uh, network option i can see view additional properties option so I just need to click on view additional properties option. And then from here, you can see I can provide DNS server addresses from here. And you also might remember that I have changed recently this address to Google's DNS, right? So let's say I want to change it once again to some other DNS provider server addresses. So I can do that from here. I can just click on edit 
and then instead of Google servers I can uh, just use Cloudflare servers here this is also a very good DNS provider and also free and the DNS uh, server addresses are 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1 so I'm going to provide that instead of this one I will just give 1.1.1.1 and as the alternate DNS address I will just provide 1.0.0.1 here and then click on save and this is going to change the DNS address to the Cloudflare DNS server address, right? So you just need to try one of these DNS server addresses from the list which I have shown you and see if this solves your problem and hopefully it's going to solve your DNS related problems.